This octopus only has one arm. When it became obvious that she was not doing well, somebody called me and they actually shipped her to me from California. When I got her, her health was already really, really bad. She had already eaten seven of her own arms and she hadn't eaten anything else in a while. Now she didn't eat those arms because she was hungry. Now an octopus uses stem cells to actually regenerate its arms and stem cells are a general cell that can turn into whatever the body needs it to. Now only a few other types of animals regenerate like this, like an axolotl. I actually have one. This is Jax, our axolotl. Now I don't really show him a lot on my channel since he's in my daughter's room and she doesn't really let me in here. And actually, octopuses are known to eat their arms when they are stressed, kind of like a human bites their nails. It's not a certain thing. We don't know if an octopus can get stressed and we don't even know how to measure stress in an octopus. But what we do know is that when they're not in the proper environment, this is how they adapt, by eating off their own arms. So I just had to rescue her. I had to give her the best chance that I could out of life. So I set up this tank, which is way more than enough space for her to roam around, play, hunt, interact, so she can kind of thrive and grow those arms back. Otherwise, she would have been dead. So if you remember, I actually did an experiment where I split my tank in two and I put Birdie on one side and Louie on the other side. Now, their behavior started changing drastically. So I had to end that experiment, knock that barrier down, and I actually separated Birdie and Louie because octopuses are solitary creatures. They don't like to be in tiny spaces with other animals that stresses them out and kind of makes them fear for their life because animals are always looking at is this other octopus competing for my food is this other octopus going to kill me she was originally caught for an aquarium and the person that was holding her did not have the proper tank or the proper setup to actually keep her safely. So they kept her in a small container in a tank that again was not set up just for an octopus and it had other animals in it. And those other animals swimming around, kind of nibbling at the container, stressed her out to the point where she began to eat her arms. Now, one very important thing about octopuses is they certain species can thrive in captivity this species for instance lives on average four to six months longer if they're kept in captivity compared to the wild but the tank really has to be set up for just an octopus it can't have other animals in it you can't put two octopuses together you can't put a bunch of fish in it all that it'll do is end up stressing the octopus or the other things become food. This person actually didn't have a tank that they can octopus proof to keep the octopus from escaping. And you see this a lot with fish stores when they get in octopuses by accident. So what he reverted to was putting the octopus in a jar so it can escape the jar and the jars in the aquarium. And this is a horrible way to keep an octopus and it's really not fair to the octopus to be kept like that. A lot of fish stores do this just because it's easier than trying to put netting on top and cover your overflow and make sure all the tiny gaps and spaces are good so the octopus can't get out. This is very lazy in my opinion and really, really, really should not be done. That is how I end up rescuing octopuses from fish stores because they'll sit in there for a week or two in a tiny critter cage or a tiny jar and 
they're coming from the ocean and you're putting them into this tiny jar and it's it's just horrible, horrible, horrible way to live. And keep in mind, once something gets taken from the wild and it comes into any contact with a captive ecosystem, the bacteria, the diseases, everything in that tank is not natural to the wild. There, It's something that only exists in captivity. So you can't just take it back and be like, okay, I'm gonna release you back into the ocean because that's how invasive species actually come about. Aquariums can do this, but they keep very strict guidelines on how they keep their water and how they keep their tanks so that they can do this safely in the wild. I'm not an aquarium, so I don't have the capacity to do all that. So the octopuses usually stay for their entire lives with me in my tank. Now in the wild, octopuses actually lose their arms all the time. They don't eat them off, but sometimes they're attacked by a shark and the shark only gets away with a tiny snack, which is a bit of an arm, or they're hit by a boat or a clam closes shut on their arm and cuts the tip off, but they regrow them back all the time. And of course, in the wild, it's a little different from captivity. We've taken a lot of those other stressors away, but they do regrow them back in captivity as well. And it's just an amazing process to watch unfold because these arms that are growing back right now are like these tiny little miniature replicas of the full arm. And you could actually see the tiny little suckers starting to come back out. It's absolutely amazing. Somebody once told me that since you have an octopus, you can kind of cut off an arm. He was joking. You can cut off an arm and have octopus for dinner every night and the octopus will just regrow that arm back and you have an unlimited supply of octopus dinner. I was very offended by this at the time, but thinking back to it, that was actually absolutely correct. Even though her arms aren't fully grown back, she still adapted amazingly to what she has. She's still able to hunt. She is more curious than any other octopus I've had. So I've only had her for about a week and a half and she's already on the glass responding to my fingers and absolutely a beast. I have never seen an octopus as resilient as her. She eats normally and she's actually a little greedy too. Like she'll eat three crabs at a time and she's not scared of anything. They're very resilient creatures and they really, really, really deserve to be spotlighted and known and everybody should know how cool an octopus is. If you want to be a part of this octopus's story, head over to my Facebook or Instagram. I'm going to put up a poll so we can all decide what we're going to call her. I think the best name for her is actually Uno because she has one full arm. But I'm going to put a poll up and let everybody else help decide. But please pick Uno because I really want that name. And if you want to follow along and see how she does and watch her absolutely thrive and become a full grown octopus that's a beast, follow along, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get notified anytime we post a video.